Hello, my name is Mr Jasdeep Singh Manga. I'm the Head of Clinical Engineering at the University Hospitals of Leicester NHS Trust and also the Academy of Healthcare Science Professional Lead for Clinical Engineering. I'm going to talk about registration of clinical engineers in the UK. Within the UK, there are three main groups of professionals that work in the field of clinical engineering. These are clinical scientists, clinical technologists or healthcare science practitioners, and healthcare science associates and assistants. There may be others, however, these are the main areas and make up a significant portion of the workforce within clinical engineering departments within the UK, with clinical technologists or healthcare science practitioners making up the majority. When talking about professional registration, this mainly applies to clinical scientists and clinical technologists or healthcare science practitioners. Within the UK, the registration landscape has significantly changed over recent years. This slide shows the registration bodies in the UK for clinical engineers as it currently stands. The Academy of Healthcare Science is the overarching body for the whole of healthcare science profession in the UK. It was commissioned by the Health Education England in September 2011. The Health and Care Professions Council is a regulator and was set up to protect the public. To do this, they keep a register of all health and care professionals who meet their standards, such as standards for training, professional skills and behaviours. The Register of Clinical Technologists, or the RCT, was formerly known as the Voluntary Register for Clinical Technologists and was formed in 2000. The RCT consists of representatives from IPEM in partnership with the ART, which is the Association of Renal Technologists, and IHEM, which is the Institute of Healthcare Engineering and Estates Management. The Engineering Council is the UK regulatory body for the engineering professions. It is not specific to healthcare. They hold a national register for engineering technicians, incorporated engineers and chartered engineers. The Science Council is a membership organisation. The Science Council holds the national register for registered science technicians, registered scientists and chartered scientists. This next slide shows the different routes for registration for clinical engineers in the UK. The blue lines indicate direct entry registration through structured training programmes, whereas the red lines indicate registration through equivalence routes. The National School of Healthcare Science run two structured training programmes, one called the STP, which is the Scientific Training Programme, where on completion students become registered under the HCPC as a clinical scientist. In the PTP route, students become registered under the Academy of Healthcare Science as a healthcare science practitioner. IPEM also run a structured training programme for healthcare technologists, uh, as well as the ART, which is the Association of Renal Technologists. Students completing an ART or IPEM clinical technologist training course can become registered under the RCT as a clinical technologist. In terms of equivalence, the Academy of Healthcare Science have a equivalence programmes for both practitioners and scientists. This is where candidates will need to submit a portfolio of evidence indicating how they meet all the criteria of a healthcare clinical scientist or a healthcare science practitioner. IPEM also run equivalence route where candidates can submit a portfolio of evidence they have to meet certain objectives and submit that portfolio to the Association of Clinical Scientists. An oral examination will then be conducted to assess whether that candidate meets the criteria and on completion, successful completion, the candidate can be registered under the HCPC register as a clinical scientist. So how well are the clinical engineering registered regulated? The Professional Standards Authority for Health and Social Care are accountable to the UK Parliament. Their job is to scrutinise and oversee the work of nine health and care regulators. As you will see, 
the HCPC, who is the Register for Clinical Scientists, are a statutory regulator and hence it is a criminal offence to work as a clinical scientist in the UK unless you are on the HCPC register. The Professional Standards Authority also accredits voluntary assured registered of people working in a variety of health and social care occupations where occupations are not subject to statutory regulation like the HCPC and clinical scientists The accredited voluntary register scheme allows people to choose practitioners who are on a register that has been independently assessed and approved by the Professional Standards Authority. Both the Academy of Healthcare Science and the RCT are PSA accredited assured registers, which means it is not currently statutory to be on the register to practice as a clinical technologist or a healthcare science practitioner. The Academy of Healthcare Science covers a wide range of healthcare science professions in the UK, across life sciences, physiological sciences and physical sciences and informatics. The specific ones relating to clinical engineering are biomechanical engineering, clinical measurement and development, equipment management and clinical engineering, medical electronics and instrumentation, medical engineering design, rehabilitation engineering, renal dialysis technology. The RCT specialisms are much more specific to physics and engineering. And as you see, under clinical engineering, the specialisms are medical engineering, radiation engineering, rehabilitation engineering, and renal technology. So why is it not statutory to work as a healthcare science practitioner or a clinical technologist in the UK? Well, this goes back to 2011, where the government wrote a command paper titled Enabling Excellence, Autonomy and Accountability for Health and Social Care Staff. In the paper it said the government will only consider extending statutory regulation including to groups in the healthcare science workforce where there is a compelling case on the basis of public safety, risk and where assured voluntary registers are not considered sufficient to manage this risk. As such, so if it's not statutory, why is it important to be registered? Well, it has become increasingly viewed as essential by employers, providers, and commissioners, and as well as patients themselves. Through registration, an individual shows commitment to upholding high professional standards and to keeping their knowledge, skills and experience up to date through ongoing professional development. If individuals fail to uphold the standards and show they are fit to practice, then they have their, can have their registration status restricted or removed. So what are the benefits to me of being registered? as a clinical engineer in the UK. In addition to the patient safety benefits, the risk reduction and arguably the higher quality workforce, some of the personal benefits to the applicant are many of the hospitals today with clinical engineering vacancies are putting this as a mandatory requirement in job descriptions, hence there's greater competition for jobs. There's also the personal achievement and status benefits that would come with having registration. Good scientific practice is a document written by the Academy of Healthcare Science and sets out the principles and values on which good practice undertaken by the Healthcare Science Works Force is founded. Both STP and PT curriculums are very much based around the five main domains of good scientific practice. These are professional practice, scientific practice, clinical practice, research, development and innovation and clinical leadership. The RCT equivalence applications must show that this document has been read, understood and that applicants adhere to to it in their daily role. 
So looking forward, where are we going with registration for clinical engineers in the UK? Well, the RCT and the Academy of Healthcare Science are going to continue with their objective of making registrations for practitioners and technologists statutory in the UK. There may become closer collaboration from both the Academy of Healthcare Science and the RCT register going forwards. It might become standard practice to have the requirement for registration in job descriptions for practitioner and technologist posts going forward. And going on from there, as people become registered and take registration more seriously, there may become greater applications for other professional qualifications such as the Engineering and Science Council registrations, as we discussed earlier, such as the RSI, the EngTech, the iEng or the CEng qualifications.